When it comes to China's geopolitical future, history will show Tesla CEO Elon Musk as presciently optimistic, woefully naive, or merely corrupted by money. Just recently, Elon Musk's turbulent year in China was felt all the way out and out of space after the Chinese government complained that two close encounters with SpaceX satellites had forced its space station to take evasive action to protect its astronauts. Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk have long believed China will be a huge driver of electric vehicle sales, even outranking the United States one day. Wall Street analysts have expressed the same belief, but as the trade war between the United States and China intensifies, Musk finds himself on both sides of the divide. The Chinese government is doing much more to support EVs than the US government right now, but the 25% tariff that Tesla and other foreign automakers pay to sell in the Chinese market is steep. In 2017, Tesla sales in China broke the $2 billion mark versus more than $6 billion in the United States. Year over year represented a significant increase. In 2016, Chinese sales were roughly $1 billion, and it's a spike to roughly one-third of US market sales, up from roughly 25% in 2016. But that might soon come to an end if the trade wars with the US is not resolved, or better yet, if China's reputation of stealing tech from Western states is anything to go by. In 2020, the FBI identified China as the biggest law enforcement threat to the United States. Its director said Beijing sought to steal American technology by any means necessary. China's effort to steal unclassified American technology ranging from military secrets to medical research have long been thought to be extensive and aggressive, but US officials only launched a broad effort to stop alleged Chinese espionage in the United States in 2018. In 2019 alone, public records show US authorities arrested and expelled two Chinese diplomats who allegedly drove onto a military base in Virginia. They also caught and jailed former CIA and Defense Intelligence Agency officials on espionage charges linked to China. Tesla and Elon also faced the same accusations in China last year. Elon Musk promised that he would shut down Tesla if his cars were used to spy in China. There's a very strong incentive for us to be very confidential with any information. The Tesla CEO said in a virtual discussion with Shuo Kikun, a Chinese quantum physicist, if Tesla uses cars to spy in China or anywhere, we will get shut down. Musk made the comments in response to the news that the Chinese are apparently restricting the use of Tesla vehicles by its military and state-owned companies. This was due to apparent concerns from Beijing that the data gathered by the car's 12 sensors, 8 cameras, and radar could be a national security risk. The allegations from China seem similar to those placed on Huawei and TikTok by the former Trump administration who claimed data from the smartphone giant and the viral video app respectively could be used by the Chinese government against the US. In the discussion, Musk apparently urged a greater cooperation between China and the United States. Even if there was spying, what would the other country learn and would it actually matter, Musk said. Tesla has had contrasting responses to criticism from the US government compared to that of the Chinese government. Tesla's operation in China has also explicitly aligned itself with the Chinese government's economic aims, saying that it would contribute to the new development structure of China's dual circulation, a reference to Xi Jinping's aim to make the country more self-reliant and therefore resistant to Western pressure. That coupled with the recent space battle, industry experts claim Musk's time in China may as well be coming to an eventful end. In an official report submitted to the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, China claimed that two SpaceX satellites constituted dangers to the life or health of astronauts aboard the China space station. The two incidents occurred in July and October, according to the report. Though the report was submitted in early December, news of the near misses gained traction in China two weeks later after the story went viral, gaining roughly 90 million views on Weibo. Weibo users lashed out against Musk's leadership and threatened to boycott Tesla cars in the country. How ironic that Chinese people buy Tesla, contributing large sums of money so Musk can launch Starlink, and then he nearly crashes into China's space station, one user wrote. Prepare to boycott Tesla, wrote another. Though Musk has become an increasingly well-known figure in China, it's not the first time that the Tesla and SpaceX CEO has garnered negative attention in the country. At the Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition in April 2021, Tesla's presence was overshadowed by protesters, one of whom promptly went viral on Weibo after jumping on a Tesla Model 3 and shouting, Tesla brakes fail to a crowd of onlookers. Then, in June the same year, Tesla recalled nearly 300,000 Model 3 and Model Y cars in China owing to a software glitch that could enable passengers to accidentally activate autopilot. 
At the time, Tesla issued an apology through its official Weibo account for any inconvenience caused to customers and pledged to continue to improve safety in strict accordance with China's national requirements. After the space collision allegations went public, neither Musk nor a representative from SpaceX commented on the near collisions between its satellites and the Chinese space station. At a press briefing in Beijing days later, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Zhao Lijian said the near misses were examples of the United States ignoring its obligations under the Outer Space Treaty. The US, while talking about the concept of responsible outer space behavior, is in practice ignoring its obligations under the treaty, Zhao said, while urging the US to act responsibly and take immediate measures to prevent such incidents from happening again. SpaceX has launched more than 1,600 satellites in recent years as part of its Starlink Constellation project, which aims to bring high-speed internet worldwide. SpaceX can launch up to 12,000 total satellites as part of the Starlink project with permission from the United States, though those launches were paused in June 2021. With all that going on, Tesla seems to be experiencing a changing tide in China, where regulators and state-run media have been publicly bludgeoning the company over battery fires and other issues with its cars. It's an ominous sign for Tesla, if only because China gave strong backing to the electric automaker when it opened a factory in Shanghai in 2019. It was the first such company allowed to open its own factory in the country without a local partner. Until then, China had always required foreign companies to enter joint ventures with domestic companies. China makes up 30% of Tesla's sales globally, but sales fell by nearly half in May of 2021 from April of the same year on the backdrop of the government scrutiny. The most popular electric vehicle there today is the Hongguang Mini, a much cheaper EV that costs just $4,500. China has been a crucial market for Tesla as it provided with the company with ample runway to grow sales. But the country views dominating nascent technologies like AI and electric vehicles as how it will lead the world going forward. Under that backdrop, it's not unreasonable to speculate that the negative press is an intentional way to drive consumers away from buying Teslas and towards vehicles from domestic automakers. Automotive nationalism seems like it's going to be an issue, especially as cars become more sophisticated roving computers collecting huge sums of data to feed their self-driving systems. Tesla relies on machine learning and data from its vehicles to improve its self-driving software. In the US, the government likely wouldn't be too pleased if a Chinese automaker was collecting data on American drivers. China similarly probably doesn't want a US automaker controlling the market there. Tesla will likely be okay if it continues on its path in the Western world, creating new types of vehicles to appeal to every segment and pushing into the energy business. But maybe betting on China wasn't a great idea. For Musk, meanwhile, the new year means a new opportunity to rebuild his company's reputation in China after a rough 2021. Doing so is instrumental, as the country accounts for a fifth of Tesla's annual revenue and is its second largest market after the United States, according to a 2021 company filing. Elon Musk will have to do what he has to do, even if it means having a coffee date with the country's leader, Xi Jinping.